Hello everybody. I don't normally wear makeup, but I wore a little bit for today. Can you hear and see me? I am wearing my unicorn. And I've got big dangly earrings. I've got my chakra colors right here. And Justin is preparing for everything right now. So I've got my unicorn on. I've got my unicorn onesie. You see? Told you I was going to wear it. <laughs> I'm just going to put you over here. On. Right. I don't know if I can put you right here. Sorry if I'm wobbling you everywhere. Oh. No, I want to I wanna put you over here. Sorry if I'm wobbling. <laughs> Trying not to make that much noise. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in really in a playful mood because I've got my unicorn on. <coughs> and I'm coughing a little bit. That's okay. I am a unicorn. This is my Halloween costume. <laughs> this is my Halloween costume that I'm going to wear on Tuesday also because at Witch Open at School, <laughs> we are doing like a Halloween party. So happy Halloween. Hi, Donna. So here I have my onesie. I bought it from Ardeen in, um, at the Sugarloaf Mall. That is where I bought it. And I bought these two and my chakra colors. And Justin's talking right now. So say hi to me. Tell me where you're tuning in from. So yes, I am wearing a unicorn onesie right now. <laughs> um, I was gonna go for the blue one, but I said no. Purple is my brand color. I'm gonna go with purple. Go with it. And I'm feeling really, really playful. <laughs> I don't do time, Donna, so you're going to have to rephrase that, okay? We're going to have to wait until the radio show comes on. So if you can rephrase that, I would really appreciate that. I don't do time. So I'm waiting for Justin, okay? <coughs> I'm going to start. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm loud and proud wearing my unicorn. I was having fun with it actually today. I have to smudge because before I read people, I have to smudge. So you get to see what I do before readings. No problem. I know everybody's at the Lustigush Powwow right now. That's okay. Whoever needs to be here is here. <laughs> So did you see that I was in the spec? Everybody see that? I'm not bragging, but I just want to show that there should be a lot more native or native entrepreneurs. We don't see that enough, right? And I'm a native entrepreneur. We should be proud of that. So I am, actually I have no notes <laughs> for today. I'm actually going to wing it. I was really nervous about doing this. Usually I'm fully prepared, but I feel really playful with the unicorn. I'm actually gonna drive home with my onesie. <laughs> See how many stairs I get. <laughs> That's funny. It's a good read, your article. Yes, thank you so much, Donna. You're such a such a nice person, Donna. Thank you. Ooh. So, you notice I really like purple a lot. <laughs> I'm feeling really playful today. There. Hopefully the, the alarm won't come off. Come on, sorry. Ouch, I just burned my hand. Okay. 
<laughs> so here I am. Hopefully my phone will die before the hour. Okay. No, we're not doing any time. No, 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 no. We're not doing time. Please don't put any kind of time. When it's going to happen, I don't do that. I just want to let you know that I don't do that at all. Timing, mm -mm, I don't do that. But rephrase it to, do you see this? Very good. Donna gets a star. <laughs> yeah, much better. Thank you. So look at Donna's. And call in at 418-788-2121 or 2449. We're not getting into it yet, but I'm going to talk before we start the radio show. That's what I usually do. Um, where? Oh, there goes my unicorn. I got to put it back up. <laughs> Feeling very frisky today. I don't know why. Ever since I put on this uh, unicorn suit, I'm feeling really like playful. Feeling very playful. You guys remember if you keep asking the same question over and over and over and expecting a different answer, uh, is that going to happen? And please be respectful here. I know that a lot of people are going through a lot, so let's be respectful. Okay. Tell me where you're where you're tuning in from. <laughs> I've got my sh my um my chakra bracelet. This is for psychic insight. The other one is for clarity, I believe. I could be wrong with that, but Call in, call in, call in. Oh, party pizza drive right now. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Traveling to Carleton for a Halloween party at the hotel. Oh. If you want to, Donna, or you could just leave leave your question there and I'll answer it. I am better at this. No, I'm just kidding. The friendly is good too. We just heard the doorbell a while ago and there was nobody there. Isn't that interesting? Hey, go ahead and post your questions. Very specific questions. Very specific. I've got glitter on. Did you notice that? I don't know if you could see that. I put a lot. I put it on like a little five-year-old, but I, I put it on. Do you see it? It's like little sparkles here. Got some on my lips too. So go ahead and put specific questions down. Can you share this video too and tag your friends? I'm here for the whole hour and they're free. Free, free mini soul readings. They're free. Told you, once I put this on, I'm getting goofy. They're free, they're free, they're free. Oh, that went out. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. That hurt, kind of hurt. Wax melted on me. <coughs> uh, you gotta be more specific, Erica. Seriously, you want to know what a soul reading is? You need to go on my um, my website, trishacondo.com. It explains it all. Um, a soul reading is... 
soul reading is where I go into your 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 mission, your lesson, your blocks. I tell you what's gonna come up, where you should go, which direction. That's a soul reading. I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure to have you here with us. We've already got a question uh, on our phones, but uh, you know, we might do a little official. Yeah. Clippers. So, Trisha Gondo, I don't need you. Okay. Hi, thank you for having me again. I'm broadcasting from Listigush on CHRQ 106.9 FM. Today's topic is all about Halloween. I'm right now, I'm wearing a purple unicorn onesie. <laughs> and I'm, oh, there goes my thing. I'm feeling very, very playful today. <laughs> so if you see me on my intuitive guide page, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, just before we went on the air, there was a doorbell that rang, right, Justin? <laughs> and when I walked over there, there was nobody there. So the spirits are coming. They're showing up and they're playing with us. And I expected that today. I expect a lot of goofy things to happen because once I put on my unicorn onesie, I started being really goofy. Because normally I'm a very quiet, serious person. So I just, I don't know what's going on with that. But <laughs> today's topic is all about Halloween. Do you know Halloween is all about spirits? It's also, I guess, one of the days where you can actually dress up and dress up to be whatever you want. So today, actually, I went to, um, I'll just tell you a little bit how my day went. Um, I went to, well, actually before that, I drove to uh, Camelton and I went to the Sugarloaf Mall, and, <coughs> excuse me, and I decided to look for a unicorn onesie. I was thinking, oh, they're all, they're not going to be sold out at all. They were. So I decided to go to the mall. That was my last choice. And then uh, I went to the Sugarloaf Mall. Is it Sugarloaf Mall? Yes. I went to Sugarloaf Mall. And then I started to go to the dollar store because I had to get stuff for my kids on Tuesday. Um, then I decided to go to Ardeen's. I usually don't go in that store at all. And I went in there and there, sure enough, there's a whole bunch of unicorns. <laughs> Everybody's saying they're loving my onesie. So yeah, I'm feeling very, um, very, uh, I don't know, fun loving because I have my unicorn on. So I tried on two. I tried on the blue one and then I tried on the purple one and the purple one I really love. Purple is my favorite color. So anyways, um, I decided to wear this uh, unicorn onesie because it represents kind of like my world and my world is full of spirits. It's full of being, you know, playing, not being serious about this. It's, you know, giving readings and being a psychic. Um, People tend to see psychics as a, you know, oh, she can read my mind. Um, you know, um, you're going to do spells on me. No, I don't do that. If I could, <laughs> I would. But I don't do spells. I don't do curses. I don't have a crystal ball. Although that's one of my things I'm going to get, actually. A crystal ball, because I think it's cool. Um, I've been buying chakra stones. I have them, actually, you don't see. I have a bunch of little things that get Ardeans, they're like orange, purple, yellow, blue. And um, yeah, so get to back to my topic. So Halloween, it's all about Hallow's Eve, it's all about dressing up and having fun and going to parties and giving out candy and it's really fun. It's not just fun for kids, it's fun for adults too because we get to really play. And that's all Halloween is is learning to play and we have to celebrate everybody's spirits and I know that uh, people I know parents get really serious about this time because they gotta take out their kids and everything and that's okay um, 
So let's just get to what we're here for. And I want to, I don't want to babble on for a half an hour. So we're going to, I'm going to be very playful. You're probably going to hear me laugh a lot and, um, that's okay. I do it anyways. So do we have anybody on the lines, Justin? Oh, okay. Oh. Right. Yes. Yeah, sure. How it all began is I actually reached out to um, Gilles Gagné, which is the editor of the spec. And um, so I got a little busy over the summer. And then I reached out to him again and he said, well, let's have Wendy Dawson contact you. I said, okay. So Wendy contacted me, she came over to my house and uh, she interviewed me and it lasted about, I don't know, half an hour maybe. And then she, she actually asked me the history and how I became a psychic and um, she was really, she was a bit skeptical, which was normal. You know, I get a lot of people that are skeptics and I get a lot of people that are believers. And so we sat down for at least half an hour and then she's, I knew she was going to ask me, can you read for me? And I'm like, okay, I was expecting this. She goes, oh, okay. She says, you are? And I said, yes. So I ran up to my office, which is on the second floor and I came back down and she seemed a little nervous, nervous and excited at the same time. <laughs> and then I, she, I know she wanted me to use cards. Usually I don't use cards. So I brought down my Sonia Chaquette Ask Your Guides Oracle cards. Hi. And so somebody just walked in the radio station. So anyways, I'm just going to get back to my story. So I sat down. I lit my um, sage in my bowl. I don't know if you can see, you can't see it on the air, but I'm showing it on my intuitive guide page. And then I said, I'm going to do a little prayer. And she's like, okay. And so I did a little prayer for my guides to come in and just to be open. And then I started to, I knew, I started seeing things. I started seeing um, her going to Montreal. And I don't want to say too much about it because it's private. So I saw a few things, what was going on with her. And um, she just looked at me. She didn't say a word for the longest time, for like five minutes, I think. And then she said, huh. She said, I guess you are psychic. She says, you've seen everything. And then I started hearing things. She says, you're spot on in everything that I'm going to do. And I'm like, oh, well, that's, that's what I do. And she's like, it seems natural. And I said, yeah. And then she asked me a lot of questions. Did you resist it for a while? Did you hear that? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> anyways, um, I um, I um, sat there, and she took a picture of me, and she said, "This is going to be out in about two weeks." And um, I said, "Okay." And I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally it came out. It came out on Monday. No, 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 Wednesday, Wednesday. Came out Wednesday. Immediately after I uh, ended the day at uh, the Wedge of Abeniak School, I went to, um, they used, they call it Bob McWhorter store, but it's Petro store in Richmond, and I picked it up, and there we were, all three of us. So I was the first picture. I'm not trying to put anybody down, but I was the first one. There was Angie Walters and Justin Flowers. And I read both their bios, which was really cool. Um, I didn't think there was many people around. Like, there seems to be less, or they're hiding. You know what I mean? They're hiding. And um, I did that for a long time. I hid, you know. And um, 
now I'm out. I'm out and loud and proud. <laughs> yeah, and I just want to say that I know I'm talking a lot, but um, we need more native entrepreneurs out there, not just me as a psychic. Um, I do a lot of work on my website. I do a lot of work on Instagram. It takes a lot of work. It's just like a normal job. Um, you know, I see clients, I do my stuff, uh, you know, um, I do my best to serve people and that's what I'm here for, to help people. That's my job. Not my job, but my passion, I guess. And if you think that Trisha can help you, then uh, please feel free to pick up that phone. Four one eight seven eight two one two one two four four nine. You don't have to give your full name if you just give your first name, but please ask a very specific question. I know this past book says it's future holds for me and stuff like that. Mm. The more specific you can make your question, uh, the better she'll be able to give you an answer. Yeah. Uh, earlier it was a person named Donna who was calling and her question was, will she ever find her soulmate? Ah. <clears throat> so with her, I know she's been through a lot, um, but I feel like she needs to push on. I know she's a very strong woman. Interesting how she said soulmate, because soulmates are the ones that make us that push us. And but I feel Donna is gonna find somebody. But it's a I feel like. Interesting how she sells a uh, soulmate. Usually I take it as cellmate, someone that you're imprisoned with. And I feel like there is somebody coming, um, actually, when she's going to be traveling a lot. Um, I do see her traveling. And I do see somebody that you're going to meet, somebody that's actually non-native. And... I keep seeing it has to do with the New Carlisle area because I'm seeing it that way. It's not going to last. You're going to have a few of these um, soulmate things. His life partner is totally different vibration because I feel like, Donna, you need to work on this a little bit more. Yeah, and I feel like there's a handsome guy coming. I know there's a handsome guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope that helps you. Okay, I'm going to come over here on my intuitive guide page. I'm on commercial right now. Okay. All right, let's go to Trisha. Are my health and Yeah, you need to be more specific. More specific, Erica. I think I already answered you. Cat Taylor, will I get promoted the job I'm at? I just started Tuesday. Well, you just started, so. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a challenge for you, Cat. But I feel like it's going to be really, it's going to make you happy, so yeah. So I feel like you're really ambitious as long as you're, I feel like it's some sort of warehouse thing. I feel like it's going to really work out, okay? So be patient. Okay. Hi, Tara Mitchell. Hi, Trisha. My best friend died 10 years ago. And I was wondering if she is watching over me and my children and if she is happy where she is. Can you tell me your best friend's name? I do see a woman. She's young. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep seeing darkness. Can you please let me know her name? Okay. Because I keep seeing a young woman. Okay. I'm just going to delete that. Please be respectful. Okay. Erica says, hi, Trisha. Will I remain at my current... I think I... You need to have one question. Don't squeeze in two, okay, Erica? 
Oh, thank you, Joan. Thank you. I, I love my onesie too. Thank you, Tina. Um, yeah, I look cute. Eh? Hi, Misty. Thank you for showing up. Alrighty. Hi, Sandra. Thank you, Katie. I'm going to put you back over here. And I'm going to continue to answer them. Because my arm is getting really sore. Uh, Sandra Isaac says, Am I going to find someone? You got to be more specific than that. Thank you, Laura Lee. For that awesome compliment about my costume. You're welcome, Kat. Fabian Henderson. What career do you see me going into? Okay. I feel like it has to do with office. Administration would be really good for you, Fabian. And, uh, yeah. I feel like that would be good for you. Uh, you've got two questions. You have to have one, Laura Lee, please. Can you share my video and tag people? I really appreciate it. Okay. Donya says, should I move? Yes, I do. I feel like you're going to move. Renee Cully, how is my mother-in-law? Is your mother-in-law alive, Renee? Ooh. Hello, Donna. Is it Donia? Oh, you're welcome. Nancy says, Nancy says, I feel stuck in my life right now. Not moving anywhere. Will it get better for me? That's too broad. Thank you for the likes. Can you love it? Can you share it? Um, Nancy, can you be more specific? Because we can. Good, and you? No, 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 no. Right. Uh, I did get a call from a guy named John. And uh, John has lost his dad in the last like, couple of years. Oh. But he says he feels that he can get signs that he believes that his dad is trying to communicate with him or just show him that he's still there. He wants to know if he knows or can see. Yeah, does he have like gray hair? I do know John, and I don't think I'm giving him any more by saying that he does. He does have gray hair? Yes. Okay. Is he really skinny? Sure or no? Yes or no? I believe so. Yeah? Okay. Than me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because he keeps showing me that, um, I don't know why, but I feel like he really likes outdoors. And I don't know if he was a sad kind of person. Um, but I feel like he is around him. And he keeps showing me like, um, um, I don't know why he keeps showing me this old place he used to go or he used to travel to somewhere. Um, because he keeps showing me he's also, he keeps showing me rocks a lot. He puts them around. Was he a traditional man, this man? A little bit? Okay. John. The dad? Yeah. He was very quiet. Did he have some sort of depression or something before he passed? You don't know? Okay. Um, but he is okay. Um, I just, he keeps showing me rocks for some reason over and over and over and the background of water and uh, he keeps making me feel like he was kind of sad or depressed, but I feel like he's okay now. But he keeps showing me rocks over and over and over. But uh, yeah, he's... He's also showing me if he, I feel like there's a, there's a sun 
It keeps showing me that he watches over him. No. I hope that helped you. It's uh, 531 Q106. Uh, we got a uh, question from Tanya. Uh, any new projects for work coming up in the new year? What? This is from uh, Tanya. Uh -huh. She wants to know any new projects for work coming up for her in the next year. I don't know time, but I'll tell you um, any new projects in which area. You have to be a little bit more specific. I do believe she will have a lot of projects. Um, she's going to get more organized because I keep seeing documents more organized and I see her, her, um, <coughs> she will also, believe it or not, get really organized and I keep seeing like job descriptions over and over and over. Is she working in some sort of administration or something like that? Oh, um, but I feel like you're going to get more organized. That's why I keep seeing you over and over. It wouldn't surprise me if you got some sort of assistant to work with you. Because I feel like there's going to be organization. I keep seeing it over and over and over. Yeah, that's why I keep seeing it. So I love the, the noise, the noise, um, the music that's in the background. So if you want to actually speak to me, um, you can call in CHRQ 106.9 FM at 418-788-2121 or 2449 and see what I can see for you and what I hear from my guide. So if you're curious, call me. Okay, on line number three right now, we've got a lady named Susan, and she wants to know, is she going to be the grandmother? Hello? Hi, I'm just calling to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just wondering if I'm going to be a, a future grandmother to a baby girl. Yeah, I also see a boy too. Um, I'm seeing a boy and hey. um, he's uh, going to be really good with, he's going to be very um, laid back. Okay. And um, he's actually going to be... Um, I don't know if he's, I keep seeing in your house for some reason. Okay. Um, but and I, do you see that I have any grandchildren in my house? I keep seeing like a boy first. I don't know why, but I keep seeing a boy. Um, there seems to be, hmm, I'm seeing like one for now. Um, but I do see an older, an older daughter too. So I see two. That's what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for calling in. Okay, thank Bye. you. Bye. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's just, I'm very, I'm feeling very ma magical with this onesie on. <laughs> I'm seeing your, re I'm seeing your reaction. That's why. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, whoa, whoa. You said something. Sorry. Okay. Um. I feel like she's going to go forward. Um, Because I feel like people have been, or men have been poisoning her. And I feel like this is one of her soul wounds is to learn how to trust. I also get that she's going to be a little bit alone for a bit. Um, I feel like with the love life, I feel like you're going to start being um, more inward. And this is going to make you very happy. I know it's not the answer that you want, but I see you alone for a little bit. And then I do see you um, um, moving on, actually, to somewhere else. And I feel like there's going to be a guy where you're more stable and loving yourself. I feel like there's going to be somebody that likes the outdoors. I keep saying the outdoors a lot. And... Um, 
when you become more comfortable with yourself, I see that person come in. Oh, sorry. So I hope this helps you. So if you want to watch the replay, you can go on facebook.com forward slash intuitive guide because I record everything on my Facebook business page. So if you want to, you know, listen to it again, you can go there. So yeah, um, um, I also want to put some little bit promos here. If you want a private mini soul reading, excuse me, not mini soul, but a private soul reading with me where I go deeper and I get to the point right away, just for CHRQ and the guest Beezy area, I charge $30 for 20 minutes. So you don't need to be in front of me, but if you want to travel and come see me, that's okay. Um, so it's $30 for 20 minutes, and I could do it over the phone. I don't need to see you, um, but if you choose to see me in person, that's okay. Um, I don't mind it at all. And you can go on my website, which I really, I really recommend. And um, if you go on my homepage and you scroll down, you're gonna see three, three kind of services. I have soul readings, I have mentoring, and I have shamanic sessions. So if you wanna go to the soul readings, you click on it and it goes to Acuity, Acuity, I can't even talk, Acuity Scheduling, and then it goes to PayPal. So if you don't want to go to the PayPal route, you can send me an interact e-transfer, which I do for a lot of local people. So you can also contact me on my website. That's the only way I ever answer anything. Um, so more promo here. You can follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Trisha Kondo. I post there a lot. And uh, you can go on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash intuitive guide. We got a call from the listener. Okay. Uh, she didn't give you her first name. She gave her middle name. Nope, I need her first name. Mm hmm. Nice try, though. <laughs> uh, we got a message on our Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. Is my soulmate Robert? Uh. It's temporary. I feel like Donna, I'm, I'm just going to be honest, you tend to be a counselor when you're dating men. So you've got to learn not to try to fix these men. And I know, um, um, yeah, I feel like you also be, have to be clear about what you want. Being, I know you're very strong, but being more clear. Almost like you should do, and this is what I'm going to suggest, is have like questions beforehand because you I know you're very direct so and then once you go through the sec the questions and if they don't answer the way you want go on to the next one that's what I keep saying yeah I have my own question <laughs> if a man got food truck and I'd be proud to pick up my time I guess that's history do you say yes I don't know oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, shamanic sessions. Well, it's all about, it's a form of counseling that I do, and I, what I do is I bring in the grand council, so I see guides, right? And what I do is I put on very cool music like this in the background. And I really, um, I really um, like lift layers. I go into like, I've never taken Reiki, but I kind of go over my own body and then I start pulling things off. And um, I do that a lot. I started doing that. I've been called to do it. And it's more like um, taking things off people and um, people like to talk about what's bothering them so I do that a lot and I do a lot of actually I'm gonna get a drum soon and rattle and um, and I do a bit of 
I see things and then I see people's guides and their guides kind of talk to me and then that's what happens when I start going a little bit deeper. Yeah. Now, with it being close to Halloween and everything, yeah. question for you is, uh, when you're speaking about the guys that you talk to, it always seems like it's a positive thing. It is. But have you had a negative experience or weird experience? Yeah, I did. In the beginning, I did. Um, I know some people uh, want to know that. Um, I did um, actually last year when I noticed I was not talking that well, like I would complain a lot. Um, I noticed I started tuning into the other realm, which is a lot of um, spirits walking around, they don't know they're dead. And so I would tune into some of those and some of them freaked me out. Um, but I learned how to meditate and I learned to say, go away, you're not wanted here. And I would say that often. So um, yeah, I learned from actually, I'm going to shout out to Sabrina Choquette Tully. She actually taught me to tune out of that realm. It's like a purgatory kind of realm. Yeah. And I've learned to tune out of that. So yeah. So if you're watching, yeah. We still have time with uh, Chicago. Uh, she's going to be here with us until 6 p.m. So it's about 15 minutes or so. Uh, okay. If you got a question you'd like to ask. Really? That's us? Yeah, we are at uh, 5.43 right now. Holy crap. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Can I answer some people on my intuitive guide page? Okay. All right, let me go here. Okay, I'm scrolling down. I'm hearing birds right now, but okay. So, <coughs> all right. Sorry to cough in front of the mic. Um, Nancy says, I feel stuck in my life right now, not moving anywhere. Will it get better for me? Yeah, I feel like you need to start, start, um, I feel like you need to move. You need to get in your car and start moving. I feel like you need to move the energy. Okay, Maddie Anna Bet says, should I keep my current job? Yeah, for now, I feel like the energy is uh, where you should be. But I feel like you're going to become like a student also, Maddie. So I hope that helps you. Okay, let's go to somebody else. Joanne says, am I going to move? Um, I do see a move happening. I do. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if... It, yeah, I do. Um, but it's a lot of traveling. I feel like traveling is going to happen before that. Okay? I feel like you're going to travel back home. That's what I feel like. It's traveling back and forth. Okay? Hope that helps you. Lurley says, "What? yeah, I don't answer what does the future look like for me because I'll be here all day. <laughs> I don't have that much time. Um, Tara says, I'm sorry, my best friend name was Threba. You have to read put the question because I don't have much time. No, she has passed. Renee says, okay. Uh, yes, Don, yeah, I don't know what that means. Okay. Will my son overcome the obstacles of autism? I feel like close to it, but I feel like there's science that's coming into that that you really need to learn about because I keep seeing you um, going to some sort of doctor, a man actually, and he's going to recommend a lot of things. Eventually you're going to go into, like, you're really into the science of it. So I feel like it's going to take time with doctors and stuff. And I know you don't like it. I know you don't like hearing this, but I feel like working with a male doctor is coming up. I feel like that's what's going to help you. Sandra. I'm enjoying my single life, but do you see me with someone new in my love life? I feel like you're too busy because I feel like there's some sort of, you're becoming a student of something. And I feel like 
You need to work on you first. That's what really needs to happen. Yeah. Because I feel like you need to deal with your emotions first, your feelings first. Uh, okay, Vanessa says, hello, I just recently started renting a house with the option to buy it. Do you see me buying this house in the future? I do see it for, yeah, I do see it. Um, as long as it's um, white with, I see uh, trees on the left, uh, left hand side. Yeah, I feel like as long as it's surrounded by trees and it's a little private, I do see it. Is my dad okay? Nikki, yes, he's very proud of you, uh, proud of you, yeah. I'm going to go back to Justin, yeah. Okay, if you have a caller online, her name is Carly, uh -huh. and she wants to know if she's going to have him not. Okay, <clears throat> let's go here. Hello, Carly. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. So what's your question? Uh, I was just wondering if I was ever going to have a daughter in the I do. It's the first thing that I saw. Um, she's going to be really healthy. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah. And I feel like you're going to have to work at it. Because I feel like you're going to... Um, I keep seeing some sort of visitations with a doctor. Um, does this make sense to you? Um, not sure. It doesn't... Yeah, I feel like... You, right now. That's okay. Because I feel like you're going to get ready for this girl... Um, she actually comes to you in her, in your dreams and, and I feel like she's coming, but I feel like you have to visit the doctor a lot. Um, there's nothing to worry about, but I feel like you're also going to get in better shape too. Okay. And okay. yeah, yeah. So I hope that helps you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for tuning in and calling in CHRQ 106.9. Thanks. Welcome. Bye. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, how many minutes do we have, Justin? It's, uh, right now. Do you want to take another break? Or you what is it? 548? 548. Uh, no, I'm just going to take this okay. and then, sorry. No. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, we're going to end it. Um, Erica says, I'm struggling with depression, not too sure if I'm going to be able to continue with my career. Will I be able to continue with my career? Okay. All right. So she wants to know if she's going to be able to continue. Yeah. I feel later down, um, you're going to continue. But I see you going to see the doctor for some reason. I feel like you're going to get some sort of medical note to get off. Okay? And this is going to help you. So, Nikki, my dad just passed away in May, wondering if he's okay. Yes. Yes. Very happy. Keep showing me nature a lot. So, if he was by water, and he's showing me like a boat a lot. So I feel like, yes, he is well. Helen says, I would like to know if my project of being a foster family going to work. You've asked me this before. Yeah. So I feel like you don't need to worry. I think you've asked me this many, many times. So that's okay. People like to test me. That's okay. <laughs> Stacy says, is my boyfriend Chris the one I'm supposed to be with? I feel like there's something going on. There's lack of respect going on in that relationship. I feel like you're not really doing well with that. So you might want to look at that. Okay. I feel like it's going to get worse. Okay. So... Tell me if I am, because I just feel like it's going to get worse. Uh, what is the future of my relationship with Terry? Okay, that's very broad. You need to be more specific. I'm a, Linda says, I'm sensitive. I don't think it's a gift. What do, you, what do I control? <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Um, being 
sensitive is not a logical thing. Being sensitive is actually natural, <clears throat> Linda. And trying to analyze it is not going to, it's going to actually get you more frustrated. So accept it. Accept it. And I would recommend that you actually read Sonia Chiquette's Trust Your Vibes. Okay? Because that helped me. Will Julius and I become a couple? Um, I'm not feeling good with this one. I feel like it's going to be a struggle, but later, yes. But I feel like it's almost like you, it's almost like you're, you're trying to convince them to be with you. Brenda, uh, am I going in the right direction in regards to a career? Okay. What kind of a career? Can you be more specific? I feel like, yes, you're on the right track. So. Uh, my best friend's name was Reba. My question was died 10 years ago, and I was wondering if she is watching over me. Yes, she is. Um, she's saying, yeah. Um, she is actually um, around you a lot, telling you to start writing. Okay, Tara? Yeah. Uh, Paula says, what is the future? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what is the future telling me? That's very broad, and we could be here all day. Um, Stephanie Simon. Can you tell me who my spirit guide is? Um, yes, her name is Angela, and she wants you to start moving. Meaning, get out of your house. Oh, hi, Leah. Um, I'm gonna have to let you go right now, because, is it time? So, 5.53. Oh, 5.53, okay. So I'm gonna keep talking. Um, Tina says, I am unsure, I'm reading this all from my Facebook page, which is Intuitive Guide, so if you're listening to me, that's where I'm getting it from. Tina says, I am sh unsure about my relationship with Terry. Should I just move on or continue waiting? I feel like you need to move on because I need... Tina, you need more respect. You don't need to be waiting for a man. So, yeah, you're unsure anyways where it's going because he seems to be the boss. So, yeah. Okay, um, Denise says, will love find me? What do you mean, love find you? Can you rephrase that, please? Um, okay, I don't mean to laugh, it's just, some questions I um, that's interesting you say will love find me it's almost like do you have to snap your fingers and love finds you um, that's not the way it happens you have to actually put action and actually be proactive in finding love so you have to and this is, sounds cliche ish but sometimes you really have to love yourself because you're gonna attract who and what you expect. So yeah, this is Tara. Uh, thanks, Trisha. This really meant a lot to me and love the unicorn onesie, by the way. Thank you. That's really nice. Okay. Lisa says, can you tell me my spirit guide's name? Yes, I have Shelly and Shanna. You've got two of them. Um, they really want you to, because they show me that you were in Atlantis and I feel as though they really want you to start looking into water as therapy and going into water and actually taking vacations. They keep telling me that you need, you're, you're going to go on some sort of vacation. Okay. So yeah, I think I went over with my information, but that's okay. Um, Kina says, thank you. It makes sense. I had dreams of us being together. Okay. Tina says, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it and will take your reading seriously. I won't pursue anymore. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Paula says, what should I do about a situation with my husband? You have to be more specific. Come on, guys. More specific, the better. I'm not a mind reader. Um, okay. So, before I take somebody else's question I just want to say that I want to wish everybody happy Halloween and um, if you want a more private reading you can 
contact me on my website, go to contact me on my page. You could also, um, that's the only way you can get a hold of me. And, or I'll give it a second option. You can call me at 418-392-1918. And please don't call me and ask me for a free reading because I'm not going to do that. Also, please don't text me. I know I'm telling you no's a lot, but I've had people do that to me. So let's just be clear. You can contact me on my website and that's the only way you can contact me. So I don't want to sound mean here, but I'd prefer it if you would do that. And please sure, make sure, sorry, to follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Trisha Kondo. I post a lot of stuff there. I talk about chakras, spirit guides, what I'm doing, doing during the day. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to go back here. Do we have anybody asking? Justin? No? Okay. I'll go back to my Facebook page. Um, okay. Um, Tina says I won't pursue him anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, Lisa says, thank you, beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's nice. All right. So Denise says, was referring to finding a soulmate or is a single life for me? Okay. Um, we have to have one question. Remember, I only answer one question. It's just to be fair for the others, because if you ask one question attached to two, I won't answer it. I have to be very clear here. So, um, how many more minutes do we have, Justin? One minute? Okay. So, I'm going to stop answering questions on my Intuitive Guide page. And um, just to let you know, I did update my website, which is trishacondo.com. So, that's my name. Yeah, that's me. T R I S H A C O N D O dot com. And um, I put a lot of cool stuff there. There's also, I also want to talk about this thing. Um, I put a new freebie. It's called How to Channel a Spirit Guide. I've had over 18 people in the past two days watch my video and subscribe to my newsletter. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, uh, you can go to my website and subscribe. It, you don't have to do a confirmation link or anything. I fixed that. So you can go to trishacondo.com and follow me on my Facebook page. I also do general uh, readings on Thursdays. But on the radio show here, I do specific. Um, the reason why I do specific is because I see things and I hear things and I get specific. So if you're telling me what does my future hold for me, that is really, really broad. And um, I know I see things already, but it's just you need to be more specific so I can fine tune it and really get to the matter right away. It's not I'm trying to be rude. It's just I prefer you just give me a specific question and it's better for you and it's better for me. And it's more of a good thing that I, it's the way that I work. But when you... Um, consult for a soul reading, remember?